Hello, and welcome to Step Up AT's Improving Literacy Through Technology Peer Coaching Videos. In this video, we will talk about practice-based coaching, or PBC, and the components that make this coaching model an effective one for the Step Up AT program. PBC is an evidence-based coaching framework to help teachers learn and use teaching practices in the classroom. And you get the latest? And put it inside that. Good. So we're taking turns. It is a cyclical process which involves three components that are supported through a collaborative partnership between the teacher and the coach. PBC's three components include shared goals and action planning, focused observations, and reflection and feedback. No. Well, how do they go in the water? The key to making PBC successful is developing a collaborative partnership. This refers to the interactions between the peer, coach, and teacher that provide opportunities for identifying the teacher's strengths, needs, and priorities, asking questions, discussing dilemmas, providing feedback, reflecting on classroom practices, and exploring new practices. Step Up AT relies on PBC to support teacher use of assistive technology in the preschool classroom setting through eight teaching practices. We have a video that explains these practices in greater details. The intended outcome of the partnership is centered on learning the Step Up AT teaching practices specifically. Practice-based coaching is never meant to be punitive or evaluative in nature. Right now we're gonna read that book. This coaching model includes personalized coaching support to facilitate teachers' learning in addition to the resources provided through the stepupat.org website. Coaches will provide performance feedback on the use of the AT materials to enhance classroom practices and to support optimal development and learning of young children. Now that you know what PBC stands for, let's break down what you will see and do during a coaching cycle. I am so excited that you're going to be working with us in the Step Up AT program. Determine teacher's AT need by having the teacher complete a teacher strengths and needs assessment, or TSNA, which asks how much AT knowledge and experience does the teacher have and whether they have used AT in the classroom and you want a lot of support for it, that's what I'm here for. Create goals by having the teacher develop an action plan with detailed steps on how to master the AT goal. I do notice that he also um, needs more support in writing, so I do plan on using other devices. Observe the teacher implementing the AT goal in the classroom. Go, go, yes. go fast, look. <laughs> Remember, it's important to have an observable and measurable goal that you can track during observations. Reflect with the teacher on progress and implementation of the AT strategy. Has the child been given ample opportunities to use the AT? Is there modeling or effective promoting being offered? Has the teacher noticed any progress? Give feedback to the teacher using supportive and constructive messages based on observations and in relation to the goal. We're taking turns. We did a good job, Mr. Dean. Look at the girls, they are champions. Follow up with teachers to share helpful resources in support of the goal. You have everything you need to access AT resources with our online toolkit available through the stepupat.org website. And we continue working with these strategies. Okay, thank you, Ms. Ingrid. Support your teacher. It's important to collaborate and ask questions. We are all here to help. Amazing, Ms. Dadu. Good job. Thank you, Ms. Ingrid. Don't forget, we have more coaching videos you can watch that will break down practice-based coaching in greater detail. You can click on the link below to learn more about PBC. Thank you for watching. Very good, that is letter C. Thank you, girls.